What is up, everyone? At Drinky572, return of chance. Today's June 5th, 2024. We're going to hop on to a market watch. So on this market watch, we're not actually going to be taking a look at Ready Collection 2 set. Uh, I did open the set. If you guys want to take a look at what we pulled from the, well, the QCRs that were pulled, uh, go take a look at my TikTok or Instagram at return of chance so you guys can take a look at at those pulls uh, but I wanted to focus and make a separate video on the Rarity Collection 2 step probably sometime um, this weekend uh, we do have LA Regional going on and I finally decided on a deck I'm gonna play uh, I'm gonna be playing Vanquish so, so wish me luck on that but yeah I'll do another video on, on the Rarity Collection 2 step what I think is a good pickup um, and some cards give my opinion on and stuff uh, for that video, but we're gonna be saving that for like a separate video because there's a bunch of cards from that set to talk about Today we're just gonna be seeing gonna be taking a look at some other cards uh, That I wanted to take a look at after this weekend's YCS if you guys didn't see YCS Indiana uh, Snake Eyes was able to take that event uh, Snake Eyes continues to be the top uh, deck of the format Hopefully it gets hit on the next ban list, but uh, it looks like yeah Snake Eyes still continue cont continues to dominate the meta we're gonna be starting off with Nightmare Throne. Uh, this one I didn't really see topped um, this weekend, but it looks like people are expecting that Fusion Monster to come out pretty soon. Maybe it's gonna be thrown into Battles of the Legends set that's coming out this month. But it is going up in price, only 26 listings on the market. We had this sitting around like 30 ish dollars. Um, right now we have it at 35, 37, 35, 74, 38 dollars. So making its way up to that 40 dollar price point. Let me know how you guys feel about Nightmare Throne. I thought this was a good pickup if you guys were going to play the deck around like 20 to $30. If you guys were able to cop then, good for you. I was able to cop like one copy at 20 one at 30 But I just bought them for a friend and um, traded, traded cards with him because this is a trading card game. We don't always just sell. Uh, we did tra make a nice trade, and I helped him get those cards. So, uh, yeah, if you guys got your Nightmare Thrones at 20 30 right now, you're plusing, and I could see these going up uh, even higher when a new fusion monster comes out we don't know when that is but it it's probably this year uh bonfire from maze of millennia i thought this card is gonna see a little price spike after this weekend since it, it is one of those cards that uh snake eyes does use but it looks like it's actually been trending downwards uh 80 listings on the market i remember people were paying like 120 100 over 100 dollars for this card at one point which is pretty crazy to me uh, but right now we have it at forty dollars, forty-five dollars, forty-five, forty-five ninety, and forty-five fifty-seven. So yeah, basically, it decreased in price over the over the past couple months. Uh, I doubt this card is gonna get a reprint anytime soon. It just came out this year, so I doubt uh, this card is getting reprinted this year. Maybe next year, but not this year. I could be wrong about that. So. Uh, just take that information with caution. Be, be cautious about the information. I'm um, just, I just haven't really seen too many cards come out like a year and then get a reprint that same year. There's, I mean, there's cards like a Luber that did get a reprint, like a Ghost from the Past set. And then there's other cards like maybe Thrust, I think, also got an early reprint. But it's very few cards. I doubt Bonfire is going to be one of them. But I could be wrong. But yeah, it's going down in price. Uh, Ten Pie Dragon Pydra. Uh, we had it sitting at a high price point of like twenty-ish dollars. Right now we have one twenty-two listings, uh, fourteen fifty. Uh, that's basically fifteen dollars with shipping. Uh, that's basically almost fifteen dollars with shipping too. Fifteen twenty-two with shipping, fourteen fifty. Basically a fifteen-dollar card right now. Uh, I think it might be a good time to pick these up because we do have some more Ten Pie support coming out in Infinite Forbidden. I think it's like a trap card and another monster as well. Uh, so I think once uh, those two cards come out, uh, this card could go back up in price again. So right now would be a nice time to uh, pick these up because this is the cheapest I've seen them at. I think pre-sale price for this was like 10 to $15. So $13, $15. If you could get them for around that price, I think it's a good pickup because I could see them going back up in price. Uh, Legacy of Destruction just came out this year, so we're probably not going to see a reprint for this until next year's 10th. So it's not a bad pickup if you want to play the deck. Uh, Promethean Prince of Bestower of Flames, uh, going actually, it shows that it's coming back down. I thought it was going to trend upwards after this weekend's YCS because it's one of those cards that's used a lot. It's from Phantom Nightmare, also came out this year, so we're not getting a reprint until maybe next year's 10th. 
83 listings on the market. It was sitting at a low price point around like 16, 17 dollars. If you guys cop then, you guys are winning right now. 24.90, 24.95, 24.00, 26.25, 27.27, .27, and 26.22. Basically, a staple for any fire deck that's out right now. Stalin Man Greats, um, Snake Eyes, Fire Kings. What else? Uh, Infernoids are also coming out uh, soon. Maybe they might uh, be good. Uh, they should be coming out in Battles of Legend, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, uh, they might you know take over the meta and run a Promethean Princess so I could see this card continuing to go up um, as long as fire is still dominating the meta let me know how you guys feel about that down below and uh, yeah let me know how you guys feel about the new Infernoids, Infernoid support if you guys already heard of that Unchained Soul Lord of Yama also another card that continues to go up in price uh, was sitting around like 22 ish 23 ish dollars at the beginning of May Right now we have it at 43 listings. Looks like we have $24, $25.18, $25.55, $25.55, and $25.62. So I remember picking this up, these up around like 10 ish dollars. I did sell because I needed some money at the moment around like 12, 13 ish dollars. So I didn't make too much profit on these. Uh, but uh, at one point these hit like a high price point of like 30 ish dollars. I think last year when Unchained was dominating the meta, they were like 30 ish dollars. If I remember yeah it says 30 ish one ish dollars back at the beginning of february i could have sworn last year they, they had a higher higher price point but i might be wrong about that but i could see these going back up to the 30 dollar price point once the new ubell support comes out uh because they do still run the unchained package over in the ocg that's what i've seen they've been running an unchained package in that un uh with that new ubell fusion monster uh pure lily this is a card that did not get a reprint in uh, the Rarity Collection 2 set. A lot of the cards that didn't get reprints for the Pearly deck have been going up in price. This one was sitting at a low price point around like 10 ish dollars, uh, 13 ish dollars. I, I, I think my friend, yeah, he was trying to decide whether to cop the regular com. I think this only comes as a, as a common, so uh, he was trying to decide where to make the investment on the Ultimate Rares, and I told him it was a good investment because it's an ultimate rare uh that's only 13 dollars to three of and it had a uh, a high chance of going up in price uh right now we only have it at 13 listings and i'm glad he listened to me because right now uh, it's basically doubled in price we have it at 23.75 dollars, 25.99 27 dollars. when these under 30 dollar copies are gone we hit 33 dollars, 34.99 36 dollars, and 40 dollars um i I wanted to pick some of these up, but I didn't have the money at at, at that time. Uh, so I just wanted to pick them up to invest in. I, it was not like I'm going to use them for a deck, so I'm not too bummed out about that. But yeah, they did go up in price. Hopefully, if you guys uh, did pick these up, er hopefully you guys did pick these up early and don't have to pay a high price point for it at the moment. Um, like I said, I think it only has one other printing, which is... Uh, uh, Common, if I'm not mistaken. Per, how do you spell it? Pearly. Just copy it and paste it. It's from where is it from? Yeah, it's a common. It's from Cyberstorm Access. So Cyberstorm Access is supposed to be in this year's tens. So it it'll probably get a reprint, like a maybe ultra rare, super rare, or seeker rare. We'll see what happens. But the highest rarity at the moment is the LTS from Impact. But if you guys do want to play Pearly, you guys could just play the common version uh ground xeno a card i wanted to take a look at uh just because i was looking through my dinosaur deck and i still have three of these in in the build i thought i sold them off but i didn't i sold a couple of them off around like the 50 60 dollar price point when they were like hyped up a couple months ago but right now we have it at 83 listings we have this card sitting at 20 dollars 21 dollars 21 dollars $21.99, $21.99, and $22.94. I'm still waiting on dinos to become, I guess, like a roguish strategy that could top a top an event. I'm, I'm actually thinking about taking them for to the NAWCQ. It, I'm this for this region I'm taking Vanquish Soul, but for the NAWCQ, I'm thinking about taking dinos just to show people that dinos are still can still compete. But it's at uh, ground Zeno right now is at $20. Um, do we have any word of Wild Survivors getting a reprint? Is that supposed to be an intense? Let me know down below. Um, 
I'm, I'm just gonna keep mine I guess sell them off if you guys want to but I'm just gonna keep mine just cuz I'm playing them at the moment I'm not really too concerned if they go up or down I got them for $15 when they first released so um, I'm not too uh, in a rush to get rid of the last place that I have the other ones I did sell off cuz 60 they were like 50 to 60 dollars so why not cash in at that price point it looks like fabled lurry is still holding up in price too uh, we have three versions of this card we have a dual terminal we have a super rare and we have a common I know this came in a dual terminal hidden arsenal too is it no it's chapter one I know it came as a like a dual terminal reprint or something like that Lurry. No, I know it has a fourth version. Okay, so that's what it is. Let's go high to low. Uh, so we have the dual terminal original. We have a super rare. We have dual terminal reprint with the dual terminal technology. Uh, and then we have a common from Hidden Arsenal. So they're all still holding up in price. And that's because the Fiend Smith, people are expecting Fiend Smith to do good here. And I think this is the one. They're going to mix uh, Fiend Smith with Fabled Lurry because I think there's like a, a spell card that lets you add Fabled Lurry and then Fabled Lurry just spell summons itself after you discard it with the spell card and it gets your Fiend Smith play started. So uh, that's why it's still holding on to that $8, $9, $20 price point. Let me know how you guys feel about Fabled Lurry and if you guys think Fiend Smith is going to uh, make an impact over here in the TCG. Arius the Labyrinth Butler looks like it's up in price. We have 28 listings for this card. And I did see a Labyrinth build over at YCS Indiana do good. It was in like the top four or something. So I think that might have been the reason for this card, uh, card spike in price. Uh, 2290, 2290, 2191, 2168, 2238, and $20. So basically a $20 card now. It was sitting for the longest time around like $12, $13-ish, but it's been going up, up ever since. From Age of Overlord, so uh, probably going to get a reprint in the 10s. Uh, but until then, we still have like, what, May, June, June, July, August, September. We, have to, we still have like three to four months until those Tims comes out. Uh, so Arias could probably still continue to make it. I mean, Labyrinth could still continue to make an impact in the format. It, uh, I've seen them top a couple of events every now and then. It's one of those decks that I didn't expect was going to do good this format. But with them running um, Dharma Cannon, they're able to search it out, able to set that up. Dharma Cannon is a powerful card. So I could see Labyrinth continuing to do good. Uh, Aria is probably going to stick around that $20 price point for a little bit. Uh, Tier Elements Cash Tier, one of the cards that did not get a, one of the Cash Tier cards that did not get a reprint in, in the uh, Ray Collection 2 set, as well as Cash Tier Rice Heart, I think it was, uh, but the Field Spell did. Uh, but I don't think they even run this. This is one of those cards that Tier Elements runs, but Cash Tier, I don't really see running this card. This is, a, I think, two or three of in Tier Elements. Uh, we had it sitting at a high price point of like 22 ish dollars back in April. And right now we have it at 50 listings. Looks like we have listings starting at 15.30, 15.50, then going up to 17.30, 17.99, and then 18 dollars. So let me know how you guys feel about ca tier elements cash tiro. And if you guys think this card could, could see another price spike and go up even higher, because it hasn't got a reprint, but it is from Photon Hypernova, so it should be in the tens. Um, but it it is one of those cards that uh, tier elements does run like at like two or three. It only has one printing, so maybe it might see another price spike if Tier Elements does top an event. But we'll see what happens. Um, XL Synchro Stardust Dragon. This is a car, an ultra rare from Maze of Memories. I haven't seen uh, this card being used in too many strategies. It was once a, like a $60 card back when Super Heavy Samurais were teching it. Uh, but right now we have it at a low price point, 137 listings. We have listings starting at $14.96. Fourteen ninety seven, uh, $15, $15. So it's like the lowest price point I've seen this at. Uh, might be a card you wanna, uh, might be a card you wanna uh, get your hands on. I, I don't know if this card will be reprinted in the. Actually, just wait on um, wait on Battles of Legends to come out. You only gotta wait like two more weeks for that set to come out, and then if it's not in that Battles of Legends set, I would probably 
uh, come in and pick some of these up. So just wait two more weeks uh, for the Battles of Legends set to come out. And if this card isn't reprinted in there, I think it's a good pickup and could possibly see some play again one day. Uh, we have Drytron Nova. We do have some, I think, Drytron support coming out of Infinite Forbid, if, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me down below if I'm wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's where it's coming in, Infinite Forbidden. Uh, this card did get hyped up when the new support was announced. It was hitting like a $30 price point, but we have it dropping, uh, well, back down in price, 66 listings. It looks like people forgot about it. Uh, right now we have it at $15, $15, $15, $15, and 1401 So it might be a good pickup for you guys if you guys do want to play. Uh, are planning to play dry chomp before the new support comes out and makes this card sprite spike up in price again so come here and come come in and um pick up your dry tron novas if you guys haven't already favorite contact this is a card from power of the elements hasn't got a reprint but probably will since power of the elements uh is expected to be in the 10th uh 67 listings this card is still holding up its price i remember it was being like a dollar card at I think last year was like a dollar card. Yeah, it was around like a dollar card. Uh, but right now we have it at five dollars, six dollars and ten cents, six fifteen, six seventeen, five twenty-five, and five dollars and thirty cents. Uh, six sixty-three at the end of the first page. Basically, a five to six dollar card. If I were you guys, if you guys still have some of these somewhere in bulk, because like I said, it was once worth a dollar. Maybe you guys haven't taken a look at your bulk in a while. You guys might find some of these or if you guys are still holding on to this i would probably get rid of them as soon as i can before the uh, tins come in and uh make this card go down in price because it's probably going to be in there maybe it's like a secret rare or a super rare or a common we we never know uh salaman great pyro phoenix it looks like this card has been going up in price i remember selling mine for like around two ish dollars just because i had a couple in bulk and um, I, I didn't think they were going to reach this high of a price point. That's why I got rid of them. And I only have like two or three, two or three copies of this. So it wasn't too many. So I didn't really care for them. 25 listings on the market was a car that was once like one or two dollars, like I said. And we have them now going up to four thirty nine, five dollars, four dollars, five forty, uh, four twenty five, five forty nine, five forty nine on the end of the first page. So basically a five dollar card now. And yeah, you could tell by the chart it's been going up. Uh, consistently over the past couple of months um i think this is being played as a one of um a lot of people can't really afford the other salaman great monster the raging phoenix so i'm, I'm thinking this is a card that's being used to kind of replace raging phoenix until this card gets a reprint that's why players are choosing to play it if there's any other reason why let me know down below it says uh if this card links summon using salaman great power Pyro Phoenix as material, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. So you're probably not going to get a, that effect in, unless you're playing um, uh, like pure Salamand Grades. You can target one Link Monster in your opponent's graveyard, spell summon to your opponent's field. If a Link Monster spells summon to your opponent's field, you could target one of those monsters and inflict damage. Uh, so I guess it could be used to burn, but I, I, I'm thinking it's just a, a Link for Fire Monster uh, that people are using to play as a budget version of Raging Phoenix. So. Let me know down below if you guys have any other reason why it's been going up in price. Sky Striker Mobilize Linkage, a card you guys probably want to pick up before the new Sky Striker support comes out in the Battle of the Legends set. I thought this card would be trending upwards, but it's actually going down in price. I know this is like a three of in the Sky Striker strategy, or like a two of. My brother plays uh, three of these and loves this card, so that's why I'm saying it's a three of. But if you guys play two of, let me know down below. 123 listings on the market. We have this card at $2, uh, 295, $3, $3, 327, 333, 339, and $3.40. So trying to make its way up past uh, the $3 mark, but holding around that $3 price point. I I, I think this card is going to go up in price, maybe hitting like the 5 to $6 price point the closer we get to the Sky Striker, uh, to the release of the Sky Striker support. But I could be wrong about that. Maybe not that many people want to play uh, with the new Sky Striker cards. Maybe it's just one of those decks that's going to stay like a, I guess like a, for a, a casual player or like a roguish strategy. Let me know down below how you guys feel about Sky Striker Mobilized Linkage. If you guys think it's going to stay at the $3 price point or if it's going to go uh, up in price. And last card on today's market watch is going to be Archfiend Harris. 
the right Archfiend Harris. This card has two copies available. Both come in rare. One from the 2014 Mega Tins. One from Judgment of the Light. And it looks like the Mega Tins version is only at six listings, and it's above its market price. And we also have uh, the one from Judgment of Light at uh, 23 listings. Uh, it's low on listing, not above its market price, but it's low on listing. Let's take a look at the 2014 Mega Tin version. Uh, let's see, it was sitting around like a dollar. Right now, it's going up to 422, 497, 499. And once these five dollar copies are gone, we hit 11, and then ten dollars has it got bought at five dollars yeah it has got a buy at 375 496 so they are selling above the dollar price point five dollars someone did buy it for ten dollars so they are selling for like like around that five dollar price point let's take a look at the judgment of light one 23 listings uh was sitting around like under a dollar and right now we have it at 348 four dollars 420 uh 324 471 uh, 472 and 498 I have no idea why this card is going up in price I just noticed that it was because it was low on listings so if you guys have any idea why Archfiend Harris is going uh, up in price and getting a buyout let me know down below but yeah I just wanted to update you guys so if, if you guys maybe have some bulk uh, Archfiend Harris some, some Archfiend Harris in bulk because it was once worth under a dollar go take a look at your bulk and see if you guys can find some of these that's going to be it for today's Market Watch. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, go follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and X at Return of Chance. Uh, we'll be back sometime this week to take a look at the Ready Collection 2 set. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's going to be a separate video because there's a lot of cards to talk about. We'll see you guys next time.